I am Anil Kumar and now let us explore few applications of derivatives. The question here is, the hypotenuse of a right triangle is 16 centimeters in length. Calculate the measure of angles of the triangle that will maximize its perimeter. So let's sketch one right angle triangle. So let us say we have a right angle triangle here. And in this triangle, we are given that the hypotenuse is 16 centimeters, right? So since this is a right angle triangle, uh, we can say that the other angles are, let us consider one angle theta, and the sides be x and y, right? Now we need to calculate the measure of angles of the triangle that will maximize its perimeter. Now what is the perimeter of this triangle? Perimeter of the triangle is 16, plus x plus y. Now since we need to maximize the angle, we should actually write x and y in terms of the angle itself. So, so you know, cos of theta is, is x over 16, right? So we have cos theta equals to x over 16, and that means x is equals to 16 cos theta. Similarly, we know sine theta is y over 16 and y equals to 16 sine theta, correct? So we could replace x with uh, 16 cos theta. So we have perimeter as 16 plus 16 cos theta plus the opposite side y as 16 sine theta, right? That is the perimeter. So let's maximize, that means we need to find derivative of this function. So derivative of this perimeter will be, this is constant, 0, plus uh, 16 cos theta, derivative is 16 times minus sine theta, and 16 sine theta, derivative is 16 cos theta. To maximize or minimize, we need to equate the derivative to 0 and find critical number, right? So that gives us the critical number. Now in this case, that means we have uh, 16 cos theta minus 16 sine theta equals to 0. You can take 16 common, you get cos theta minus sine theta equals to 0. Or we could write cos theta equals to sine theta dividing by cos we get 1 equals to tan theta right and from here we can say theta equals to tan inverse of 1 which is indeed 45 degrees or pi by 4 right it depends on what units you take right so so we get angle as 45 degrees in this particular case correct so that is the angle now to ensure that this really maximizes what should we do well we know that angle theta in a right angle triangle has got boundary conditions as 0 to 90 degrees correct so that is the boundary condition the critical number is theta equals to let us say 45 degrees right so we can find the value of perimeter for all the three points and then verify which is the largest, right? So let's calculate perimeter for 0 will be equals to 16 and cos of 0 will be 1. So right, we get 16 plus 16 plus sine of 0 is 0, so 0. So that gives us 32, right? If we consider 90 degrees, right? So, so the perimeter for 90 degrees will be 16 plus cos of 90 is 0 plus 16 and that also gives us 32. Now let us calculate the perimeter for 45 degrees, right? 45 degrees will be 16 plus 16 times 1 over square root 2, that is cos of 45 plus 16 times 1 over square root 2, which is sine of 45 degrees, right? So that means, 
let's calculate and find the answer right so we have 16 divided by square root 2 equals to 8 square root 2 there are two of them so we'll multiply by 2 equals to and then we'll add 16 so plus 16 equals to in decimals 38.62 so definitely this is more than 32 and therefore we can say that the maximum perimeter is for theta equals to 45 degrees right so that is how we can find the angle within the right angle triangle so obviously the other angle let us say which is 5 will also be so 5 will also be 90 minus 45 degrees same angle right so in this case the triangle should be isosceles right triangle for maximum perimeter right so that is how you can solve such a question thank you and all the best